Hello YouTube and today uh, we're going to create a graph in Excel so I'm kind of inspired by YouTube's analytics sorry about the noise outside <laughs> um, but we're going to recreate this graph and it's a cool graph it shows you the concentration of viewers uh, on which day of the week and which time of the day and it can be applied to a lot of different reports uh, as well right uh, if you want to show some trends um, this is very applicable as long as you have data for the day and the time of day day of week and time of day so what I'm gonna do is just open up Excel here and um, let me zoom in here a little bit so we're going to read, need a couple of things so let's just say you have the day of week sorry the date day of week uh, the time um, and then some other data on the right okay so usually some records will contain the date but not the day of week so for example it's uh, January 1 2020 and uh, you want to know what day of week it is so you just type text open the uh, parentheses uh, the the cell comma and then in uh, quotes triple D's so it represents days um, so it's go it going to display th the first three letters of the day so if you add an extra D here it's the full uh, spelled out you know day if it's just two letters two d's then it's going to be zero one because it's the first day of january i mean you, you get the drift right okay so if you don't have the day of week pattern then that's how you can get it from the date okay and the data we have here is purely the date it doesn't have the time attached to it as you can see here if I convert to a number the time of the day is usually the decimal places right whole numbers are full days okay so if you're around uh, 12 p.m. it's going to be for eight four three eight three one point five so let me just quickly show you what I mean by that I'm gonna choose time with date um, let's format date yes yeah, that can show so, so I'm gonna put in here month date year And as you can see there 12 uh, p.m. so yeah all right so what I, what we're gonna do right now is we, we don't have the raw data so we're just gonna fabricate create our own so I just want to know what the value is I just want to randomize between January 1st randomize between January 1st and today right so I'll create a hundred records so that it's easy to check later on sorry about that but if <laughs> we forgot to lock out um, the cells there so uh, because if you drag down the formulas as you can see there the selection goes down with it so you need to lock um, the cells and I did that by pressing F4 as I you know put the course cursor uh, on the cell on the cell reference so what I'm gonna do is just copy these paste it on the date column and just remove this we don't need it later 
um, I'm just gonna quickly format this and then sort all right And then I'm gonna copy the formula here. So I don't need to sort it because it's a formula. So now we need the time. So if if you have um, if you have the the time in your raw data, then no problem. Right now we don't have it. So I'm just gonna produce decimal places here by putting in uh, decimal and randomize between 0 and let's say 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 decimal places or 10 decimal places right let's see if they're all yeah some of them it should be 0, 099 9 here so let's try and put a text format there which would say we have 10 decimal places Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. there you go at least you have 0 0.05 because if not you're not gonna C time less than 0.1 all right so I'm just gonna copy and paste these as values as you can see there it converted to text and we need these as values so there are two ways you can do this and probably other more ways that I know one is by going to the formula and do an error check and uh, try to convert all of these to numbers by pressing this button or the shortcut alt c one by one until you reach a hundred records but imagine if you have a thousand or twenty thousand records see it's gonna be tiring so there's another way you can do that which is using text to columns fixed width width and click on finish so these are all uh, 11 digits so you know you don't need to go to the next um, screen to uh, and, you know adjust until until when you cut or break the the text characters but you can simply proceed to finish oh sorry about that I didn't press or select the whole column let me do that again fixed width and finish all right now that we have our time here let me show you in proper time format there you go since uh, the graph that we want to uh, imitate here is showing by the hour so it's 12 row uh, sorry 24 rows representing each hour of the day uh, we need that format as well so we're gonna call that interval so we're gonna have 24 intervals all right 24 hours of the day so what you need to do is we need to round down uh, the time okay so make sure that also that your time doesn't have full uh, whole numbers uh, if you do have the t date and time you, you have to separate them okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a floor function of the time and it's going to be the significance you can use there as 1 divided by 24 no. and I'm just gonna copy and paste the same formatting here as you can see it rounded it down to 4 a.m. it should be 3 p.m. 2 a.m. and so on and so forth so just gonna copy that and uh, yep I'm confident that 
our data is correct so now we are ready to create our um, our graph here so let's take a look here so I'm gonna put the title here the subtitle here and these are going to be your uh, day of the week okay sorry I'm gonna make that a little bigger for you all right that's a full week and then I'm going to type in 12 a.m. here okay and now we need the the 20 the rest of the hours so the 23 hours what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add one hour to our 12 a.m. here by using this formula I want to add one hour no minutes no seconds and there you go but before I fully drag it all the way down to 11 p.m. Uh, one trick that you need to know is that you have to floor this as well so that it matches with uh, the ones in your raw data so it, it's a bit uh, buggy sometimes there's a you know a very very small uh, variation or a small amount of decimal uh, that would trip your numbers so later on I produced a hundred rows so to check uh, we need to have a hundred counts here all right so I think now it's time for us to do a count if or count ifs so first we need to know how many are Sundays at 12 a.m. right so how many are Sundays and then how many are 12 a.m. so if you notice there I skipped uh, the criteria 1 and criteria 2 okay uh, then before we proceed as well I'm going to lock uh, these two columns so that uh, they, they don't change as we drag on to the next days so again we're looking at the day of week here so it's going to be Sunday as we drag to the right I want it to be fixed to that column sorry not column but that row and then uh, as I move down I want uh, it to move down as well here but not the column so I'm gonna lock the column here all right not no viewers on Sundays let's see here there you go and as I mentioned earlier I created a hundred rows so the fact that we have a sum of a hundred here means my formula is correct we are representing all the data from sheet one all right the next thing that we need to do here is apply uh, the formatting here it should be color scales all right and uh, let's go back and edit that it's gonna be a two color scale the minimum would be the lightest I'm colorblind please excuse me <laughs> and then the highest would be this color all right it's gonna appear like that I know it's ugly right now let's turn off the grid lines and we'll add a cup um, border here will take the thickest border put in outside and in outline and inside as you can see there let's take a look at our reference here um, we're gonna make thinner rows uh, excuse uh, 
the inconsiderate uh, motorcycle outside <laughs> I'm gonna make this smaller what am I doing um, six probably yep I think that's fine I'm going to change into a gray color here um, this one I can create a bit more separation by Clicking on top, justify there. Um, probably reduce the. Or, yeah, let, let's keep it as is for now. This one's. I don't really want to show the numbers, but I don't think we can hide it for now. Uh, we'll, we'll see later on. Let's put it on the left hand side first. Um, this one I want all to be on the left side and then as you can see in the reference here I want to hide all the different hours here like so and there you go I think I want to Great, that thinner. Oops, sorry. Yep. So let's see if we can. There you go. That's much better. Um. Also, I think there are bigger gaps here. Which we can probably create one oops, I stay one by one. I'm gonna click on control plus click the column headers and yeah there you go not sure if we can reduce the font size here further four no five would be enough and let's put a, a little bit of space or not yeah, i think i'm happy with this Okay, so let me put a bold formatting here plus a title and it should show when your viewers are on YouTube. There you go. Plus the subtitle. Um, let's put data data from um, let's get the minimum date and concatenate it with two and get the maximum date there you go so it's going to show you the the integer whole number of values so you have to Convert it into text. Hold on. So I'm going to use months, day, year. Close it. Similar to this one. Text. Um, month, day. There you go. So make that smaller. There you go. I think it's close, right? Just a different color, but it's close. <laughs> I can't get rid of this number, so um, 
because it the the numbers are going to be uh, the background is going to be different each time so I'm going to find a way to format that and adjust to whatever the background is but it's going to require some macros and that's going to be another topic but for now I think I'm happy with this um, probably change the color there maybe this one. yeah so yeah whatever <laughs> so yeah I think it's close right okay so I think I'm happy with this and how it turned out to be and uh, I hope you've learned a few things from me today and uh, if you want to learn more if you have some questions um, please comment down below and I'll try to answer them as much as possible and uh, if you like it please subscribe like and share and I'll see you guys next time bye bye